good to present to you tonight our next representative for constituency number three, Mr. Conris Maynard, our King Conris, the man for number three, the man for me in constituency number three. Comrades, King Conris is well-rounded and versatile. Let me show you. As an electrical and computer engineer, trained at the University of the West Indies and attaining a master's degree at one of the best engineering universities in the world, the University of Waterloo, and in addition to once leading the operations department at a major regional company, our King Conris is poised to lead the transformation of St. Kitts and Nevis to a fully sustainable green energy state. Lead the charge for the full digitalization of our government and our country. Expand our infrastructure of roads, water, and electricity supply, and lead the way for the next housing boom so that you and I can finally get the house we have been dreaming of. Yeah. As a family man who has a beloved wife and two young, beautiful daughters, yeah. Congress understands firsthand the benefits and importance of stronger families creating stronger communities. As a teacher who taught mathematics and information technology at the Clarence Fitzroy Bryant College and University of the West Indies Level 1, Conris appreciates the importance of nurturing our young minds. Comrades, as a musician, entertainer, six-time undefeated senior Calypso monarch, three-time Leeward Islands Calypso monarch, our three-time national soccer and party monarch, Conris understands what it takes to transform our entertainment sector, giving our artists and creatives a supportive industry in which to thrive. As a philanthropist who has donated to numerous charity, charities and noble causes, such as the Pediatric Assistance League, the Advancement of Children Foundation, the Police Boys Club, just to name a few, and who has mentored and arranged music for numerous persons and groups, and who has sponsored almost every cultural and community group in culture, sports, education, and religion throughout West Bastille. We can see where Conris' heart is. He has always been about giving back to his community and his country not just recently, but for a long time. Comrades, in Conris Maynard, we have a young man who is caring and thoughtful, who is strong and hardworking, who is talented and dynamic, who is competent and visionary, who has the perfect combination of versatility to represent us well in government. We need Congress in government. We need Congress in the Sankit Nevis Labour Party government. So comrades, I present to you Mr. Congress Maynard. Our king, the man for number three.
Labor massive. Labor massive. I can't hear you. Constituency number three. Constituency number three. Tell Samal before he was worrying in number four, we was worrying in number three. And the sleeping tiger is awake. And we are ready. We are ready to take back constituency number three. Tell them we want a snack. Tell them we want a cup of tea. We want a full course meal. We want Congress Maynard. We want the man who's going to represent us. Running, run the track. Most of people who meet me on the street and say the same thing. This election, no joke, we voting for congressmen, and yes, it's the people's king. It's the lack of the care and the lack of the trust and the lack of progress in this country. Why the choice is very voting for the sake is me, this Labour Party. For number three, demand for number three. That's all for me. In this stage, I'll be jumping up again. Melody, to have a hold on me. Speak so dead. I'm coming up again. I said we're voting for. This Labour Party. If you believe in Congress Gregor Menten Maynard, let me see your hands in here. It is time to end corruption. It is time to end nepotism. It is time for us to have a stable government. It is time for us to be represented. West Bastia is missing. And with Congress Maynard, with Congress Maynard, we are ready! We are ready! Ten thousand Hey! We are the wrong Congress, no time no When they say in that they want you Everybody that I meet, they want you down on Church Street. Then West Pass, here we coming back. What are we doing? Demand for number three. Sing a song for me. When I make this page, I'm going to jump, 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 jump. Hey! Hey! Whoa! We both. Constituency number three. This is our time. This is our time to shine. You know this new old man that's not gonna go on back. This is a real man. This is a God-fearing man. This is a loyal man. When constituency number three was under attack, he kept us together. And we must fight for him. Let me go!
Oh yes, me am. Something else yet to come. I was just going to give you a little something, you know. Come. Welcome to the stage, Mr. Omandi Byron. Comrades of Labour, good night. Good night, comrades of Labour. Yes. We have here a humble, honest, respectful, talented, young visionary by the name of Conris Maynard. The man for number three. I met Conris Maynard about 15 years ago, when he would have just returned from university. From the onset, I realized that him and I have similar passions, engineering and music. Conris is like a musical icon to me, and many at my age. A musical genius, you may say, if you had the time and opportunity to sit and build a song from scratch with him. That same year of his return, without hesitation, Conris loaned his expertise and time to the SKN Steel Orchestra. And in short time, he arranged and taught our group its competition song for that year. But there was something that I admired about him. How he was very careful and particular with finalizing every aspect of the arrangement before bringing it to us to learn. He is very particular and detail-oriented. He understands that once something is out in the atmosphere, there's no pulling it back. So do it right and do it good once to save you the time of correcting yourself of the wrongs. This is a man that we want handling our affairs in the government. He then became a dear friend of my brother and I. And if you know my family, if you know my family, once you are friends with us, you are good friends with my mother and father. So then he became a family friend. Over the years, he has been a great example for me and a lot of young persons like me. That is the kind of man we want in our government. He never shies away from challenges. That is the man we have here in number three. Conris is well-educated, well-rounded. He's foot to the ground, hand to the plow. He is what you can say, the true definition of a statesman. He genuinely cares for the people and his country. Just listen to his songs. And he definitely is a man of his word. That is a man we want in parliament. Conris and my brother have similar traits when it comes to putting self miles behind for the care and good of others. I'm sure it's very hard for him to blow his horn here on the, on the stage this after, tonight. The question is always, Conris, when are you going to stop to take care of yourself? The answer is always, when everybody is good, I am good. That is the kind of man you want in government. I can go on and on about my dear friend, this good man and my rep, but I'll save a little for him. I want you to know, constituency three to know, clearly, and I say clearly, that my family and I fully support and endorse Mr. Conris Maynard to be our next parliamentary representative for the constituency of number three for the Sankis Nevis Labour Party in the upcoming elections. Thank you. Good night. Wow, 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 wow. Wow, 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 wow. Well, we heard that an announcement is about to be made. And we need to step from here and show the guy who is on his way out that we are an unstoppable force. You ready? Seconds, you ready? Yes! The 
can't can keep labor, they can't keep labor down. A lot, a lot, a lot of dust go raise. Yeah, we saw a I wanna see everybody jump. Let me go. your homeland thunder just because we don't vote labor i wanna hear you will you stand for any low life little gangster jeopardizing me bread and we butter i wanna hear you so let me show the world that we can overcome our tribulation Strong and rocking the everybody unstoppable. When we move on, I let the whole world. They can't keep labor, they can't keep labor down. A lot of us for it. Yeah, it's far from me. I want to see everybody jump. Energy. So tell them, send on and send on. Everybody wave, man we got to wave, election on wave, man it's to wave, and it's no joke, labor here and unstoppable. Charge. Huh. One more for the road. Listen. When we meet another country in a compete, will we give up cause they're bigger than now we I wanna hear you shout it. I know we got a lot of respect for Obama, but do you think that he is no. I wanna hear you. So let me show the world that we a champion, the best breed ever. Are we gonna make it does I wanna go over there, watch it, watch it, watch it. Move, move, move. Everybody unstoppable when we move us. I let the whole world They can't keep labor, they can't keep labor dog, and when we reach world A lot of dust go, a lot a lot a lot of dust go in, yeah we smart. Everybody wave! Let me see you wave! Everybody wave! Man, we got to wave! Everybody wave! Man, it ain't no joke! Everybody! Man, it ain't no joke! We are an unstoppable! They can't stop labor this time! Are you ready for the carnival to show how we go jump at once? Say yes! Yes! Say yes. yes. Are you ready to vote no, for labor? No, say yes. yes. Say yes. yes. And if you're ready to turn up the colon, then you say yes. yes. What was unstoppable? When we move on, I let the whole world. They can't keep labor. They can't keep labor dog. And when we reach world, I let that just go. I let that I let that just go.
Yeah. Well, 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 well. What pun trouble in the place? Lord of mercy. Energy in the place, boy. The car has energy like we. Are we run the place now? Is we got the place locked now? Lord, I had a speech here, you know. I had a speech here. But you know what, comrades? It's so nice to be here. In constituency number three. And I'm glad to introduce myself as your next parliamentary representative and your next minister in a Labour Party government. Led by our brand new Prime Minister, Dr. Terence Drew. You see, comrades, over the past weeks, I have been saying a lot of things about how we're going to transform number three on the platform. And I made a particular observation that the present representative has been on the side of government for the last six years. And apparently, she cannot deal with that fact. And so, I have her going by the breath. She can't figure out how to keep this king out. And it reminds me of this song because I sing a song, so you know. But wait, people jumping up. Like they win World Cup, when they hear Congress and win again. All on radio, hear the haters go. Man, they thought they had won the race. But this election, I go bang them. So back to square one of their problem. That they cannot keep this tiger's crown. Despite the ill will to bring him down. Man, they try to blame it on labor. Exclusives for in like water. Every battle they bring, a turn run and win. Boy, I got to go in by the man, she. Hear her. Hear her. Because she can't figure out how to keep this king out of here. She can't figure it out. With all the money that they're spending. With all the lies that they're telling. With all the bribery that they're trying. Congress may not still coming out on top. Because the people have now realized the difference between chalk and cheese. So I want you to go to the polls on election day. To make sure what we see in the polls right now becomes a reality. Because the polls are saying that we are banging up bad in constituency number three. But that can only happen if you go out and vote. You know, I just want to take a little time tonight just to correct some things on the record. Because earlier this week or last week rather, Friday in this constituency, Akila found it fit to tell a lot of lies on the platform. A lot of, lot of lies. Akila said that for the five years I was a parliamentary representative, I disappeared and my office was closed. Now all of you know even those who born last week know that Congress Maynard was the only parliamentary representative in that time to have my office open every single day until they tried to burn it down. And we had to renovate it and we open it back every single day. So what's the point of going on a platform and telling a bold-faced lie like that? She went on to say that while I was in parliament, I never uttered a word about constituency number three. 
That is hogwash. Real hogwash. But I know they have a lot of that on that side because of who they have. A lot of hogwash. They got to wash the hog. But Congress Maynard at every opportunity in Parliament spoke about every issue that relates to constituency number three. The tapes are there. In the budget presentation, I spoke about the roads. I spoke about the young men and opportunities for them. I spoke about housing. I spoke about jobs. I spoke about playgrounds and green spaces. I spoke about education and scholarships. And while I am doing that on behalf of the people of constituency number three, it was she who was moot and mute on the government side. Only said what was prepared for her, depending on the bill that was before us. Why the lies? And she went on to say that under 75 years of representation from labor in this constituency, that none of the representatives do nothing at all for constituency number three. Why is she disrespecting our national hero, Sir Joseph Nathaniel France, who led this constituency for 46, 43 years in parliament, never losing, because he did all the work at every single level. I mean, the other day I was told about a situation where a neighbor drain was running over into another neighbor. And so, uh, so France showed up to resolve that issue. And in parliament, five years with me, always talking about everything that needs to happen in constituency number three. But you see, when you have no record to talk about, when you have no performance to talk about, you have to lie. You have to lie. And I don't know how many of you old enough to know Shadow sing a song about Columbus. You know that song? I kill a lie. I kill a lie. I kill a lie. I kill a lie. I kill a It is an undisputed fact that for six years, Akila has been on the side of the government benches and has hardly anything to show for it. I mean, I see some of the things she's talking about as achievements that even sixth grade students can do. But it explains to me why now I understand that when Timothy Harris fired six people in his cabinet, and there was a deputy prime minister position to give. He didn't look to a killer. He looked to a man who was not even running in the next elections. A man who the deputy prime ministership could not help. But he overlooked or he bypassed a killer because he understands her competence. He knows very well. We, are, we can also see, for instance, when he got 15 houses free. And Akila Nisbi, the deputy leader of the PLP, couldn't even get one house for the people of constituency number three. Akila has had a chance. She has misused your vote. And she has not delivered for you. In fact, Akila has only delivered for herself. I've spoken about it before. She's not fighting for no MRI in the hospital because she wants you to go and pay for the MRI over by her husband. They're not fighting so that the, uh, the hospital can have its own CT scan, I understand. Because somehow they own or have some sort of ownership in that, I am told. Now imagine if you fight as a government for an MRI. Just, I think, a day or two ago, a young lady called me about the troubles of paying $1,800 to go to the MRI. If she had fought for an MRI in our, our hospital that is owned and operated by the government, that cost will be almost next to nothing. Same thing with the city scan. But remember, the vote you gave for her was not to deliver for you 
but to deliver for herself. Dr. Douglas spoke about it, and it's the last thing I'm going to say. The only thing it seems she's been working hard to do is to make sure a henchman of hers get the most money out of this government. You saw it? Imagine the Ministry of Finance wrote a memo or a or, or minute or a minute, a minute paper saying, and I want to quote what it said. Based on the information given, Mr. Weeks does not have the minimum academic qualifications for entry into the civil service. The recommended salary scale is also inconsistent with the existing policy for remuneration of civil servants. The Ministry of Finance advises that the information provided is inadequate to justify the recommendation. And that was only for a field officer. So when that didn't work in 2021, somehow some pressure come and say, if I can't get field officer, carry me up to the higher level, director of the, of the ministry. And has been seeking an appointment or has been given a contract for $7,000 as the director in the ministry of entrepreneurship. While so many people in the civil service who have toiled for years went and get their degrees, doctors up at the hospital, which she is over, is on pep, getting a few thousand dollars, while her hench henchman is the director. They say he on step. They say he on peace. They say he all over the place. The question must be asked. Why is Akila going out of her way to make sure this guy do so good? Why is she know? Why is, sorry, why is he know? What it is he know? What is it he's holding for her? That she will abuse the systems in our civil service, break all the civil service rules to give him what he wants. That should be an indication to you to get rid of all of them. Get rid of them so that we can focus on your business. And that is what I want to focus on. Because we can't keep all our energies on the lies and the corruption. As your man for constituency number three, comrades and citizens of this country, my desire has always been to serve and bring strong representation and stable representation. And this desire ain't just start, comrades. From the age of six, when I sang about drugs, so that children can stay away from drugs. At the age of 10, when I wrote a song about going to school, being cool. At the age 13, I wrote a song called Boys in Danger, talking about all these things I was seeing with the young men in our communities. When I wrote songs like Strange Land, one song, walk away, take the oath, unstoppable force, 2020. I was expressing to you and the world that the social issues of my country were of paramount importance to me. So when I tell you that I want to help usher in the next housing revolution in St. Kitts, you best believe me. Because I mean it. And so the people of my constituency must look forward to innovative homes. And as Dr. Douglas mentioned, we are going to do it in style. You're going to have an upstairs. You could have solar panels generating your own electricity. You may even be able to have an apartment attached to your home so that you could make additional income. That is the type of transformation we are going to do in the housing stock. For the young men who have, had not, who have not had the chance to own their own homes, we are saying we are going to give you the bundle of materials that you can do a self-help. You, your brother, your uncle, your friend can help you build your own home while the government provides the material to do so and the guidance and the resources. As an engineer, I am going to ensure that the infrastructure is there. Because there are a lot of people who have land. In fact, this government is rushing to give so much people land now. 
that a young lady has a piece of land and the surveyor tell her take that back to them because I can't reach the land. No roads there, no nothing there. They're just taking it up and doing it for elections. We are going to put the infrastructure in place such that you are able to build your homes on the land that you've been given. You must look forward in Shadwell Housing Development and East West Farm and Boyd's View and Trinity Hills for your roads and for your infrastructure because that is going to generate economic growth in the construction sector. I was in Shadwell last evening meeting with a couple of the residents and speaking with them and giving... Sorry, I didn't reach up the road by you. Next time. We are going to transform the Cotton House into a multi-purpose community center and a museum so that when the tourist season comes about, we can direct tourist traffic there to look at the museums. People can have shops and craft shops to have economic activity in that part of the constituency. Because of the expansion west of here in Boyd's and East West Farm, it has now become necessary for us to get a multi-purpose community center for the Boyd's West Farm Points area because there are hundreds of lots there that you're going to have to service hundreds of people. I don't know how many of you know that we have some bays called Lime Kill Bay and Camps Bay. They can provide a nice area of tourism activity and leisure activity. So we are going to fix it up so that it is a nice, cozy beach area, bay, that you can go and have things in the evening, functions, barbecues. Those are the, type of trans those are the types of transformation we are going to have in the community. One of the things Akila is saying that she has done is the Lagreed area. All that has happened in Lagreed is that she has given them a letter. And take it back. Given them a letter and take it back and said that is her achievement. Well, let me tell you what's going to happen when Congress Maynard gets there. We will transform that area into a new modern housing development. But we are going to keep the aesthetics where you have the trees and so on. So that you can keep it nice and cozy. But we ain't gonna make we ain't gonna charge you no two dollars and so for the land. Because I remember in 1995 when this labor when labor got into government, it has given a commitment to make the lands of village available to people who had been there for generations. And so the people in Lagreed who have been there for generations, you can look forward to getting your land in the same way that you only have to pay your transaction fees. You've been there for 30 years. You've been paying agriculture your little stipend. You will get your area developed on the Congress Maynard. Yes, clap for that. Comrades, just this evening, uh, well, earlier today, I got a call from a young man who is an entrepreneur. He has known me for years. So he knows my heart. He knows my passion for empowering small businesses. And he called to offer his support because he said, I have heard you speaking about small businesses and that pleases me. And so I want to give the commitment again that we are going to build a small business mall complex so that those of you who have your little businesses, your small businesses to do hair, to do nails, to do makeup, to do clothes, barbers, plumbers, electricians. You will have a space that you can provide a professional environment for your clients. And being that it will be built by the government, it will be minimal lease. And in fact, your first three months will be free. Because our thrust is that small businesses in our country need to be strengthened and empowered because that is going to drive our economy. We are going to have what we call a business incubator for small businesses all around the country. That will be your one-stop place to access everything you need for your small business. So that you don't have to go 
up there for this, down there for that, cross here for this. One place you go for your business license, for your information about business, for your assistance, for grants that are available. Everything you need for concessions will be in this business incubator. It will identify those businesses that we identify as uh, key for our development and provide the necessary funding to make sure that they get up off the ground running full force. Those are the kind of things that will get better with labor. That is the type of representation you need in this constituency. For small businesses as well, because Boys West Farm Points will be expanding so fast, we have to f provide a commercial space, land, such that businesses that want to develop there can develop there, much like we have at Shadwell. You've often heard me speak about this, and I've sung about this as well, how important our food is. We have the ability to produce much more food than we are producing now. And so I'm going to drive something called produce local, eat local. Remember that. Produce local, eat local. We're going to provide the land and capital investment for those who wish to go into farming because we have realized that there are hundreds of millions of dollars that are spent yearly on food that we can grow and produce here. We're going to invest in greenhouses and hydroponics so we can use new technology to use low water consumption for growing our crops. We are going to teach a man how to fish, not just give him a fish, because we have to make sure we expand our blue economy, that is the food out of the sea, because we must become a food independent nation, such that if we miss a ship a week, it ain't mean nothing. If we miss a ship two weeks, it ain't mean, not mean anything. Produce local and eat local. As your engineer on the team, one of my dreams, and I hope it is yours too, is to see St. Kitts and Nevis become a sustainable green energy state where we can produce and use our own energy so that when there is a war half a world away, it doesn't affect our ability to provide electricity or affect the price of electricity. So when we have a green energy state, what does that mean? It means now we are going to be using the renewable source such as the sun or the wind, even water, yes? And also geothermal. And those things will reduce your prices dramatically. This, this young lady is a bright la lady. She said biomass. She's correct. Very intelligent. But your bill will be slashed so that you will no longer have to get cut off of, from no electricity because you will be able to afford it. In fact, we will provide the concessions necessary for you to outfit your own home with solar or wind equipment. And when you produce more electricity than you use, it will go into the grid and run your meter backwards. So in the end, the government can have a credit for you. That is the type of transformation that will happen with Congress Maynard in government and labor in government. We are going to digitalize our government such that again, you don't have to go here, go buy this stamp, go here to get this little sign, drive up Golden Rock, come down Health Center, all kind of things, up and down, zigzag, cross, cross. We are going to digitalize our government and our country that on your phones, or your laptops, you could get all your business done. Comrades, this is a sporting community. We have one of the best football teams that ever graced St. Kitts and Nevis. Put your hands together for the village superstars. Don't mind. We lost to Spurs the other night. I don't know. I, I got to go get some licks for that, you know. Spurs, this kind of time. Spurs. So we got to go deal with that. But that's another time. But maybe it's because we don't have a proper sporting facility here in West Barcia to facilitate our teams. And so I give you the commitment. If it's one thing I want to do and get done is to make sure that we, did, we develop 
the Lime Keel Playfield into a multi-purpose modern sporting facility that will accommodate football, tennis, basketball, volleyball. I don't say tennis already. And um, cricket as well. I feel I'm missing one. And the playground. Oh, netball. That's the one I'm missing, netball. And we are going to ensure that we complete the boys' play field. Imagine, Akila ain't got nothing to show for six years. I had one year with the Labour government as a candidate, and I built out a whole play field in boys. And since I do that and build the pavilion there, they ain't do nothing there. They didn't finish the fencing. And so they can't even have a proper enclosed game there. We are going to complete that. We are going to refurbish Patsy Allers. Akila went to the football team and fooled them. Said they're going to get this bathroom. How long it take to build a bathroom? I hear they build something down Port Zante for some load of hundreds of thousand dollars. A small thing. How much does it take to build a bathroom? Not even that she could deliver. While I was the member for number three, the football team needed to go to Curacao. She's on the government side. She could talk to the Ministry of Sports. She promised them all kind of things and couldn't deliver nothing. I had to go and get $15,000 to help the football team to go to Curacao. That is because I love the team, no matter what. I love football, no matter what. I love my people, no matter what. I was not doing it for the fame or fortune. Somebody said, don't forget Buckley's are coming there. But we ain't got all night, I can't talk about all of them, but I'm going to try. We want to also have, in collaboration with Kenny Douglas, to build a sports academy here in St. Kitts and Nevis. Because we have extraordinary talent here in this country. But we don't have the facility to nurture it properly. And so we are saying when we see those bright sparks, we are going to take them. We are going to put them in this national academy. And from the age of 12 or so, they will be trained how to become a professional athlete. Much like how Messi did and these other great footballers did. Where they have a system that guides them from that age into university and into professional life. That is what we will be bringing for the people of constituency number three and the people of this country. Supporting families. Spoke about Buckley's. Right now, Buckley's people ain't got nowhere to play. They've been asking for a long time to get a little area to play. We are going to deliver that for you, but more than that, over the years, enough attention has not been placed to Buckley's estate. And there were a lot of opportunities that must be given to the people of Buckley's. They still need housing. They still need land. They still need credible job opportunities to advance and move up themselves. They are begging for it all the time. And I want to give the commitment that we are going to deliver for you in Buckley's. As I wrap, because we have to move on. I want to commit to all of the family parks in this area, those in Buckley's Extension, those in Boys West Farm and Points, those for camps. We are going to build them out because we are serious about having those areas for families to have leisure time and exercise time. Another time I'll speak in more, more in depth about entertainment. As a 16-time crown king, I understand what it means and what it takes to excel in entertainment. And I'm going to bring that to the people of St. Kitts and Nevis and to the people of constituency number three. But comrades, as I end, I want to talk about the importance of these general elections. I want to talk about the importance of choosing a party and a government that will be focused on you. And leading us at this time, who I know will have the privilege of ringing the bell for you tonight, is our next Prime Minister, Dr. Terence Drew, from constituency number eight, who is a caring doctor for many years, 
has been involved from the grassroots right up to the highest political levels in this country. And he leads an A-team of candidates to take over the reins of government when we have the next general elections. We have everything on our team. Everything you could possibly think about that is good and needed to run a government. Just call it, we got it. Anything. Engineers, accountants, doctors, lawyers, teachers, sportsmen, entrepreneurs, farmers, everything, we have it. So in constituency number one, I can't hear you, constituency number one, constituency number one, I want you to bring home Dr. Jeffrey Hanley, our shepherd. He must form part of the next stable government in St. Kitts and Nevis. Constituency number two. Constituency number two. I want you to bring home Marsha Henderson as our woman of power and our people's defender in this government of labor. Constituency number four. Constituency number four. Number four. Let me hear you roar. We're taking that away from the man down there and we're giving it to Samuel Duggins to be a part of the next Labour government. Constituency number five. Constituency number five can only become alive with Kenny Douglas. I want you to make Kenny a part of the team. Constituency number six. Constituency number six. Constituency number six. We have the icon. The experienced gentleman who will ensure that the ship always stays steady. I want you to return Dr. Denzel Douglas to Parliament with his biggest victory ever. Constituency number seven. Constituency number seven. Constituency number seven. The earth is moving in number seven. The sand is shifting. Timothy is frightened because Nata will be our David come the next general elections. Bring Nata to Church Street with us. Constituency number eight. Constituency number eight. I can't hear you. Constituency number eight. You will deliver the next Prime Minister of St. Kitts and Nevis. Did I leave out anybody? Did I leave out anybody? Did I leave out anybody? In number three, we gonna be jumping up again! The man for number three, sing a song for me. Cause when you hit the stage, I'll be jumping up again. Bring back your melody to have a whole lot of me. Because you speak so tell, well, I'll be jumping up again. Of the whole world getting blinded in 2020. One verse, let me go. Not a man could have moved, take a flight of a goose while distancing socially. Now it's all kind of who's got people so confused and confusion to men with country. Got people so depressed, people die in a stress, so the masses ball out to me. Everybody sing. Send kids me this can't be wrong. Can miss no time no how you can lift the spirits by singing a song with your sweet kaiso. We'll be feeling good again. Listen this till you get your job the Manchester streets. We want a song with a good beat. Is everybody at the top people? Everybody sing for me. The man for song for me, cause when you hit this stage, I'll be jumping up again, I bring back your melody, to have a hold on me, because you're sweet so tell, I'm gonna be jumping up again, I love you, please vote jump, Labour, jump, jump, vote jump, Labour, jump, vote Labour, and let us set this country right, love you, God bless.